Oh, you don't have to record it now. Yeah, I'm we're going to give everyone about another minute to get in here and then we'll start. Okay, so welcome everyone to this particular um, <clears throat> workshop on Qualtrics. Um, this advanced course will first cover the procedures for creating an informed consent question, then introduce four tools to Qualtrics that are particularly useful um, for creating experiments, survey flow, randomization, embedded data, and pipe text. This workshop assumes that you have basic knowledge of Qualtrics of the Qualtrics platform, and the sample survey you use for this uh, tutorial can be found in the same folder as the workshop material. So if you're wondering where that can be found, um, <clears throat> as Eric is putting in the links for the on-demand software, you can find it there. And to log into Qualtrics, Eric has also put in the link to log into Qualtrics there. Our learning outcomes for this particular workshop is to create a question to obtain informed consent, implement advanced question types, alter survey flow, um, <clears throat> and create, cust, uh, distribute, create, distribute, and collect experimental survey designs. So before I get started, let me go ahead and first um, share my screen. Just wanna make sure that everybody can see my second window that has the survey up, but let me try it again. Okay, can everybody see my second screen? My second monitor? Yes, we can see the Baldrick's. Oh, fantastic. Okay. Thank you, whoever voice that was. <laughs> um, so first thing you wanna do is you wanna make sure that you are, um, you wanna make sure that you place all of the information into your survey. So if we start here from the beginning, one of the, the key features I wanted to introduce people to is CAPTCHA. So it's the I'm not a robot feature. So all you have to do for this is when you go to question type or when you add your question, I'll just add the question at the very bottom. You would add new question, and then you would type in CAPTCHA verification. When you do that, this will come up, and then you can actually put in what message you want to put it, um, to have in the label right here, okay? Um, if you're creating a survey, it's really important. I think it's important to have CAPTCHA um, to eliminate any bots or, um, fake people um, <clears throat> in who are doing the informed consent. So scrolling down a little bit further, consent to participate in a research IRB. Now this is the protocol that I actually have for one of my um, studies, but this is this is kind of an incomplete protocol because I don't go into detail um, and I don't have my IRB number. Um, my IRB number here. So you just want to have this outlined as far as this is concerned. When you do that, you want to put in text graphic um, as your question type. And I would enter this in rich content editor. And with that, you can actually bold the sections that you want to be seen, like highlight. <clears throat> And then if you scroll down even further, you're going to do a multiple choice. 
agree. Do you consent to participating in the survey? I agree to participate in the survey. I do not agree to participate in the survey. You would do a number of choices too and allow one answer, okay? You can change the format. You can have it as a list or you can do it as a drop down um, or select box. I personally like the list, um, but you can change if you want it from vertical to horizontal or column. Again, it's whatever floats your boat. I personally like to keep things like how it's seen here, list and vertical. Do I have any questions so far on the consent and the CAPTCHA? And I know I said this is gonna be advanced. We'll get to the advanced part and that's the survey flow in a few. Can you show the chaps the CAPTCHA step one more time, please? I was sure. so wondering if you did that, thanks. No problem, anytime. Um, and you can just, anybody can just come off of mute because I can't see the, the chat, but Eric is also offering, um, providing his, um, responses in chat. So what you would do is you click add new question, scroll down and you click CAPTCHA verification and it'll pop up like this. Thank you. You're welcome. So now these are not, don't take me to task on how these questions are formed. Um, so just keeping that in mind. Um, but I had a demographic section. Now, I think it's really important when you do this to label your blocks. So right here, I named this block consent to participate. I named the next block demographics. I name the next block environmental and then control. The way that you, and then the next one is treatment and then using Qualtrics. The way that you do that is when you add a block, you see where it says block six at the very bottom of my screen. I'll scroll down a little bit more. Right here, you just click on that and you can add in name and you just add in um, the name of your block. I think it's really easy to kind of follow along um when you when we get to the survey flow part now when you do that when you do that the participant does not see the name of the block the only person that sees the only people who see the name names of the blocks are the people who have access to the survey so that would be you who's creating the survey and any um collaborators okay I'm gonna scroll back down. So I have my demographics section. Again, this is multiple choice. Um, the way that I did this right here is I had the down arrow or the carrot and I hit allow text entry for somebody to enter how they would describe themselves. For right now, just ignore this section because I'll explain how we got this right here. This is also multiple choice, multiple choice, or excuse me, um, this is text graphic. This is also text graphic. Um, you can put in your, your um, a logo or what have you. If you go to rich content editor and you click insert graphic, you can insert a graphic that way. So right here, it's actually, sorry, upload new graphic because it's on my desktop. Actually, I think I may have removed my, the graphic, but you can upload the graphic from your desktop if you have it saved there, okay? And then using Qualtrics. So this one right here is actually a pick group and rank um, option. So, um, you could easily just move this, like any of these choices over to here or over to there. <clears throat> and then this last question type is text entry. Okay. So these are all of our questions for, um, all of our questions for this particular survey. Does anybody have any questions of how I put the survey together? Fantastic. Okay, so now I'm gonna go ahead and show you 
how we did the survey flow. So we're going to go to survey flow first. And let me minimize my other screen. Go to survey flow. And then what we're going to do is we're going to click add below. And then we're going to click branch. And the reason we're going to do this is if we go back, I'm going to go back right here. When I, right here where it says, do you consent to participate? I can actually have it so that where it says, I do not agree to participate in this study, go to the end of the um, survey. The way, the reason you want to do this is that you may want to create a little bit of variety um, instead of going to the end, maybe you want an HTML, um, maybe you want somebody to go to a website, maybe something else, um, instead of doing a skip logic. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go back to survey flow, where it says consent to participate. You see the names of my blocks have showed up here. I'm gonna go to add below. I'm going to go to branch. And then I'm gonna add a condition. So this is question, and I'm gonna click, do you consent in this survey? Question choice, I do not agree. I'm gonna click okay. I'm gonna click add a new element here, and then I'm gonna click end of survey. Does anybody have any questions of how I did that? Um, quick question for you. So for the uh, for the end of survey, can you talk to a little bit about the customize option? Sure. So if I wanted to customize it, I can hit, um, if I customize, I can actually send override survey options. Here I can redirect to a URL. So let's say I already have a URL set up. Um, I can do that. Um, here it is. So I click override survey options, uh, custom end of survey message. So let's say I want to custom in that message. And let's say that I've already created a custom end of survey. Um, I would do that. Um, so let's say that I already have a, as you can see, I already have some messages that are here from other studies that I've been on. So let's say that I want to create a new message. So I can create a new message, end of survey messages. Um, thank you. Let's say we'll say thank you, but no thanks. Very Ariana Grande. Um, so I'm going to hit save and then close. So that would be a customized end of survey. So. Let me hit apply. Then go back to the survey builder. I'm going to go to preview and I'm going to show you what I, it should pop up, what I just did. So I am not a robot. I do not agree with this, to participate in this study. Ah, I didn't do it. may have not hit published. So didn't do it. Well, I would need to go back and actually do, I can create a new one. Uh, a new block. Instead of doing this, I can create a new block for an end of survey. So I can add a new block. Um, uh, Tiffany, I don't think it saved the customized message when you typed oh. it in. So I think that's why it's not showing up. My URL or select 
It did not. Thank you. There it is. I'm going to hit apply. Go back to the builder. I'm going to hit publish. You always want to hit publish. That's like your save. I'm not a robot. This is why it's really helpful to go through your surveys. There it is. Thank you, Eric. So thank you, but no thanks. So that is how you would set up a customized end of survey for that particular option. Does anybody have questions on that? As you can see, the error that I made when doing that was I didn't save it properly. So. You always want to go through your survey. So does anybody have questions? Nobody has questions on that, on the end of survey and the if then. Fantastic. So I'm going to go back to the survey builder. So and I'm going to scroll down. And as you can see, what I want to do is have this question right here. Imagine that you have, and this, I want to say blank dollars. I'm going to remove this. To donate to one of these environmental organizations. Which organization do you feel would spend your money most effectively? Sierra Club, Greenpeace, Environmental Defense Fund, or Natural Resource, Resources Defense Council. Um, for the record, this is not to be a political conversation about any of these organizations, but I just put something in. And what we're doing is that we would go back to the survey flow. And you want to make sure you go to the demographics section right here. I know it seems really weird, but you're going to go to the section before the environmental section. And you're going to click add below. And then you're going to click randomizer. And we're going to click one, uh, or sorry, add new element here. And then click embedded data. And we're going to type amount. And then set a value now. And then we're going to click or type in $50. And then we're going to add a new element. Let's say we have, click also embedded data again, amount, set value now as in $500. When we do this, we want to make sure that our randomizer is set to one and that we evenly present elements. Does anybody have any questions on how I did that? Fantastic. So now what I want to do is hit apply. And then I'm going to go back to the builder. And now because I want to embed that data, what I want to do now is go to pipe text, go to embedded data field. Now, this is where it can be a little tricky because if you look over here, it looks like it doesn't have anything, but it actually does. So you're going to click amount and then hit insert. And there you go. It's been your embedded data has now been inserted into your, your sentence. I'm going to click publish. I hit restart my survey. 
Again, I'm not a robot. I agree to participate. I'm just gonna bypass all these questions. And as you can see here, the 500 shows up. Let me actually scoot the two over a little bit. The 500 shows up in this particular one. Let's go ahead and restart it and let's see if we can get that 50 to show up as well. So I, I'm not a robot. I agree to participate in this study. Again, bypassing these questions. And now we have $50 showing up. Okay. Does anybody have any questions on how I just did um, the embedded data with the amounts? And you can do embedded data with anything else too, <clears throat> as well. So. so now we're gonna go to environmental under our survey flow. Um, and what I wanna do is, let me go back to this. What I wanna do is I want to have this is the control and this is the treatment. I want each, each, the wording is the same. The only difference is the logo. <clears throat> so what I want to do is have these being presented to different people, but they're going to be presented on. Oh, sorry. I was just reading what was written. Um, they'll be presented to different people. So some people will get the control area section. Some people will get the treatment section, okay? Um, but not, but nobody will get the same thing at the same time, okay? So they won't get control and treatment. They'll either get control or they'll get treatment. The way that we do that is we go to go back to survey flow. Again, we're going to the question that is before control and treatment. We're gonna click add below, then randomizer. Then we're going to click, <coughs> excuse me, add new element here, then embedded data. Then I'm going to type in group. And I'm going to set a value as to one. I'm going to do the same thing. Embedded data, group. Set a new value to two. So from here, what I want to do is then do branch. Um, so I'm going to click add below again and hit branch but I don't want that there. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna move it all the way down to right there and click add a condition. Embedded data. Group is equal to one. There you go. And then what I'm going to do is you see this block where it says control. I'm going to move that block underneath one. I'm going to do the same thing again. I'm going to add below branch. I'm going to move it go all the way down where it goes right. It's nestled right above treatment. I'm going to hit click add condition. Embedded data, group, equal to two. And then I'm going to move the treatment block. 
I'm going to move this to right here. Okay. And then I'm going to click apply. I'm going to go back to my builder. Don't forget, we got to click publish. Publish again. <clears throat> I'm going to hit restart the survey. And we're going to go through this again. <laughs> so I'm not a robot. I'm going to scroll down. I agree to participate in this study. I'll bypass these questions. Here's our $500 question. I'll say green piece. And this question will pop up. So if I hit restart survey, hopefully the next question, the other option will show up. If I do it again, I agree to participate in this study. Here's my $50. Oh, green piece. Oh, I know what I did wrong. Let me stop real quick. Let me go back to my survey flow. I caught myself. Let me scroll up. So right here where you say randomly present two, that's, this is the problem right here. You want to make sure it's one and it evenly presents the elements. And then click apply. Again, a good reason to go through your surveys before you distribute them. I'll click publish. Let's preview it again. I'm not a robot, at least not today. <laughs> I agree to participate in this study. Here's a five hundred dollars. Here's green piece. Restart. I agree to participate. Fifty dollars. And then this is the other option right here. So you always wanna make sure when you're in your survey flow, <clears throat> right here, the, the randomizer presents only one of the following elements and evenly presents the elements, okay? Um, going back to the survey. So we've talked about these two areas or sections. So now, let me actually delete this right here. So your two question types again, like it says, what question types do you frequent? Do you frequent when creating your survey, your Qualtrics survey? So items are multiple choice, text entry, text graphic, captcha, highlight, or signature. Um, so what you would do is question types I frequent, you would just move, like I mentioned before, you would just move the section over to here or question types I've never heard or I've never used. You just move these over to this section over here and you can rank them as well. Um, and then this is just an open text box. You can have a single line entry. You can do multiple choice essay text box. Um, I'm not really sure what, I've never used password before, but I would just stick, stick to if you want a option for them to respond, single pass, or excuse me, single line, multiple lines, or essay text box. Okay. So what I'm going to do, click publish. Now we're going to go through the entire survey one last time. And the way that I'm going to do it is I'm going to distribute it to you. So I click distribute distributions, anonymous link. The anonymous link will pop up and this is the anonymous link. So what I would do if you were actually trying to distribute this amongst other people, I would hyperlink it 
um, to whatever your email is, your email message is, um, and then just send it out that way. So copy survey link, and I'm going to put it in the chat. here I go. I'm going to restart the survey. And I'm going to go through the entire survey now. I am not a robot. I agree to participate in this study. I'll say female. I'll say very liberal. Here's my $500 question. I'm going to say environmental defense fund. Here's the, um, the option with the logo. So this is what it looks like right here. Here's with these uh, pick and rank. I can go one. Let's say I don't know what highlight is. I would go over to here. Um, CAPTCHA, or excuse me, signature. CAPTCHA. Graphic. And then text entry. So do you see how I just moved this out? I can move it in and it just moves in, um, it changes the order of things. So here, let's say I wanna make capture one, capture becomes one and everything else moves down. Let's say I wanna make texture or text entry two, same thing. And then you can also rank the bottom. And then this is the single line. So how, what do you enjoy the most about using your top choice of Question type, for question type, um, I'll say it's fun. Then click, and then we thank you for your time spent taking this survey. Your response has been recorded. Okay. So does anybody have any questions on what we've covered today? We've gone through the distribution. We've gone through embedded data. <clears throat> We've gone through randomization as well. Any questions? And I'm just looking through the chat now. Thank you, Eric, for answering some of these questions. So if I want to look at the results, I would go to data and analysis. And then I would go to, let's say I wanted to look at the groups. So I would go through column chooser. And I would go to um, embedded data and then click group. And I can see my groups from here. And this is the, the raw data. Um, I can also, I didn't mean to do that, did I? This is the raw, this is everything that we've gathered, <clears throat> excuse me, from me, me keep clicking on this. So I agree to participate in the, in the study. I've had two people agree to participate, three people who agreed that they did not want to participate. One male, one female. Two very liberals. 
So again, this is just the raw data. Environmental Defense Fund has a number of two. So here, like right here, you get to see, this is the description. So multiple choice, two for multiple choice, two for text entry, two for text graphic, one one for CAPTCHA, or sorry, one for text graphic, one for CAPTCHA, one for signature. <clears throat> so these are your groupings. I'm gonna go back to the data analysis. And I mean, this is, like a longer, like we can make, an, you can make an appointment with me to discuss this even more. Um, if you decide to use groupings by what we just did, like the randomization, and we can discuss like your results. Okay, I'm gonna go back to survey. All right, so does anybody have any other questions? I hope that I didn't move too fast for folks. Um, Eric, do you mind putting the links in again for folks? Thank you so much. Um, <clears throat> before you leave, please take a couple minutes to fill out the anonymous survey. Um, Katrina's put that in the in the uh, chat, and then Eric has also put the information that can be found in the chat. Um, yay! I'm really glad that you picked up a few things, Joe. That's really helpful. That's really, really helpful. Um, if you have any other questions, you can always book a consultation with us. Um, if you would like to see more Qualtrics uh, workshops, put that in your survey. Yes, Rebecca. Hi, thank you so much. Um, since it seems as though we're wrapping up, I would just like to share, I just received doctoral candidacy and- Yay! Thank you. Um, I'm very excited. And I'm about to initiate my first ever research study. And so I am submitting or sending out a Qualtrics questionnaire to everyone. And I would just love to hear any like tips or advice or things that you wish you knew um, when you were first starting out using Qualtrics and, and initiating research in this way. Did you want to put it in the chat? Like a pilot test? Yeah. Um, yeah, it's um, I've done the pilot and everything. Um, I'm just waiting on AU to confirm how I can get um, faculty email addresses through my institution's um, email, I guess. And that's the only thing I'm waiting for. Um, and I'm, I'm my study is on faculty attitudes toward invisible disabilities in higher ed. Um, qualitative study. So I'm not doing experimental, but I love to learn about it anyway, um, which is why I had interest in this um, webinar. Um, but yeah, I am just planning to email everybody out and then pick five participants from my Qualtrics responses. Oh, nice. Um, yeah, I would definitely, if you've already pilot tested it, that's great. Like if you have any questions, you can always book in a consultation and we can discuss like the next steps or something like that. Great, thank you. You're welcome, you're welcome, you're welcome. But please, please, please fill out the feedback form. Again, I know this was about a 38 minute uh, workshop, but I wanna make sure that I save time for, for questions if you had any questions. And I'm gonna stop sharing my screen. All right, well, without further ado, I will uh, let you have the remainder of the day for an extra 20 minutes. Thank you all for coming to this workshop that got down and dirty with uh, Qualtrics and experimental design. Thank you all so much.
Thank you, Cheyenne.